Parkland High School is proud to present the 39th Annual Academic Awards Assembly. And now a welcome from our Assistant Principal, Mr. Craig Waters. Good evening. I am honored and delighted to welcome you to the 39th Annual Academic Awards Ceremony here at Parkland High School. I would first like to acknowledge a few important people that make a night like this possible. To all of the parents and families in the viewing audience, thank you for expecting excellence from your children and setting the example at home for success. To all of the school district administration, thank you for giving our students the opportunity to achieve success by providing the chance for them to develop their many talents. To all of our faculty and staff in the district, thank you for challenging our students in the classroom each and every day to work hard, to strive for excellence, and to never accept mediocrity in anything that they do. This school year started out like any other in the past, but it is ending quite historically. This is an unprecedented time in most of our lives. As students, you are facing tremendous adversity, and what better time than now to rise above and be successful. Remember, you put in the work, you got yourself here, and you will succeed beyond this. Be proud of everything you have accomplished. So students, I congratulate you for all of the hard work you've put into your education to get you to this point. Achieving academic excellence requires faith that all the extra determination you display, all the questions you ask in class, all the reading you do, all the homework, projects, and presentations that you sacrifice your time to complete are all worth it. As you know, they are. You have recognized this and displayed the discipline, motivation, and hard work required to receive these accolades tonight, and our school is very proud of you. Thank you, and enjoy this special evening. And now a word from our superintendent, Mr. Richard Snizak. Ladies and gentlemen, superintendent of the Parkland School District, Mr. Richard Snizak. Hello. My name is Rich Snizak, Superintendent of Schools for the Parkland School District. On behalf of the Parkland School District Board of School Directors, administration, faculty, and staff, I would like to congratulate each of you on your academic accomplishments. The unprecedented situation presented by COVID-19 has highlighted just how critical our public schools are in supporting students and entire communities, especially during this period of statewide closures. The sense of community I have felt during this time is incredible. Today, we celebrate the accomplishments of our best and brightest students. Your participation in this awards program is indicative of one who has achieved significant success in the field of academics, as well as one who personifies the highest standards of service, leadership, and character. You all are model students and students in whom we have the greatest pride. I would also like to congratulate your parents who have contributed so much to what you are and what you have accomplished. We have the greatest confidence in you and your chances for continued success in your future endeavors, whatever they may be. Best wishes for an enjoyable awards program and congratulations. Thank you. Mr. James Moniz, Principal, Parkland High School. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us for tonight's first ever virtual academic awards night, which celebrates the very best Parkland High School has to offer. Tonight's award winners are this country's future lawyers, engineers, doctors, innovators, teachers, and entrepreneurs. The accomplishments of these students, which are incredibly impressive, are the result of countless hours of dedication continually fueling their passion for learning. We are very proud of all that they have accomplished. Congratulations to all of you. It is now my honor to recognize Parkland High School's National Merit finalists. The National Merit Scholarship Corporation has determined from a nationwide list of 16,000 semifinalists named last September that Parkland High School has 11 students selected as finalists in a 2020 Competition for Merit Scholarship Awards. These talented seniors had the opportunity to continue in the competition for some 7,600 National Merit Scholarships, worth more than $31 million. The National Merit Scholarships are underwritten by their own funds 
and by approximately 400 business organizations and higher education institutions that share National Merit Scholarships Corporation's goals of honoring the nation's scholastic champions. National Merit Finalist, Vicki Chen. National Merit Finalist, Imran Duramsi. National Merit Finalist, Raphael Edinger Finley. National Merit Finalist, Akash Kapoor. National Merit Finalist, Guy Young Lee. National Merit Finalist, Maya Parikh. National Merit Finalist, Maya Paul. National Merit Finalist, Kara Schmidt. National Merit Finalist, Michael N. Schmidt. National Merit Finalist, Farid Shahid. National Merit Finalist, Joshua Lee. National Merit, the University of Maine Scholarship, Michael N. Schmidt. National Merit Scholarship, Imran Duramsi. National Merit Scholarship, Farid Sahid. National Merit Scholarship, Maya Parikh. National Merit Computer Aid Inc. Scholarship, Catherine Bellastrini. National Merit Johnson & Johnson Scholarship, Raphael Edinger Finley. The PEO Star Scholarship is provided by the Philanthropic Educational Organization, comprising of the largest community-based women's sisterhood in North America. PEO provides loans, grants, and scholarships to assist women in achieving their post-secondary educational goals. The PEO Star Scholarship recognizes the accomplishments of graduating high school women planning to pursue post-secondary education. PEO Chapter BB in Allentown is pleased to present a $2,500 scholarship to an honoree who demonstrates excellence in leadership, extracurricular activities, community service, academics, and potential for success. Our 2020 PEO Star Scholarship is presented to Guy Young Lee. The Elmer Gates Award. The 2020 Elmer Gates Award. Congratulations to Mackenzie Kirshner and Paige Knowles. Mackenzie and Paige have been selected to receive the Elmer Gates Award. This award is given to a career and technical education student for their scholastic achievement, participation in Skills USA, membership and leadership positions in student organizations and sports, community involvement, and entrepreneurial spirit. Mackenzie's success in a commercial baking lab, as well as Paige's success in her plumbing lab, have led to this honor. Congratulations. Mackenzie Kirshner. Paige Knowles. And now we will recognize those students who maintained a 4.0 or above for seven consecutive semesters. Congratulations to the following seniors who've achieved a GPA of 4.0 or higher for seven consecutive semesters at Parkland High School. Lara Abdel Ahad, Jenna Abdelaziz, Aishani Atul Agrawal, Jashan Ahmed, Catherine Margaret Balestrini, Priti Shahun, Vicky Shi Chi Chen, Mia Elizabeth Siliberti, Luke Doberman, Olivia Marguerite Denman, Imran Ali Daramzi, Benjamin M. Dobbs, Anya Nanette Dudek, James P. Dunn, Anastasia Marie Erickson, Raphael Jonah Edinger Finley, Shane Alexander Fay, Abigail Marielle P. Faleo, Alexandra Olivia Fuller, Magdalena Paz Gareka, Katherine M. Gottwald, Savannah Kaylee Graver, Olivia Grace Happel, Nina Marie Hart, Connor James Harris, Abigail E. Hill, Sandra Jessen, Kush Vickis Joshi, 
Akash Arun Kapoor, Anna Louise Karp, Audrika Tanzan Kondiker, Mackenzie Ann Kirchner, Suzanne Elizabeth Kozlowski, Jared J. Kaharchik, Adrian Yu Lai, Andrew Joseph Laudenslager, Gayung Lee, Tanner Harrison Lewis, Kobe James Lindenmuth, Sophia Chi Lu, Nishitha Manzapati, Madison Chalice McElliott, Elena Lauren Mecki, Mary Rose Meyer, Ariana Jade Modinghoff, Sabrina Marie Ost, Neha Sai Pimidi, Maya V. Parekh, Nikhil P. Patel, Maya Jodia Paul, Zachary Trevor Paremba, Emma Elizabeth Prell, Wesley Julian Brownson, Zia Rose Reed, Nathan Mark Reimer, Lindsay Renee Renard, Andrew Joshua Ringold, Angelina Teresa Ricamo, Lillian Patrice Rogers, Jacob Donald Roth, Emily Sarah Saad, Kyle John Schantz, Kara Marie Schmidt, Michael Norman Schmidt, Jacob Robert Schaefer, Farid Mudasir Shahid, Elise Audrey Snover, Emma Elizabeth Stolinas, Alexander Norman Toro, Jessica Elon Joe, Gianna D. Tully, Alan Jose Uthapin, Arjun Srinivas Vedantham, Sahis Vera, Alexis Kate Weaver, Olivia Jean Wilkinson, Joanna Wu, Joshua Yi, Jerry Lee Jung, Shirley Jung, and Ryan Steven Zalotsky. Congratulations, seniors, on all of your hard work this year. Now recognizing those students from the class of 2020 who received an appointment at the United States Naval Academy. Lauren Check. Grace Smith. Now recognizing Evan Naradko, who received a United States Naval Reserve Officer Training Candidate Scholarship. Now presenting the Dwight D. Eisenhower Leadership Award to an outstanding junior student. And now recognizing the Yorgi Memorial Award to Shia Harris. Michael Frederick. Asad Nasir. Anastasia Metz. We are now introducing the Sean Wensley Memorial Scholarship Award winners. Abigail Hill. Natalie St. Hill. Lindsay Renard. Now presenting the Adam Walk Memorial Scholarship. Adam Walk was a 2003 Parkland High School graduate with a 4.0 GPA and a National Honor Society member. Adam was diagnosed with leukemia just two weeks before his high school graduation. Adam battled his leukemia with an underlying strength and unbreakable human spirit. Adam Walk will always be remembered as a person who lived his entire life the same way that he fought his leukemia with grace, courage, and dignity. The Adam Oak Memorial Scholarship honors Adam's life, strength, courage, and spirit through the most difficult circumstances. The 2020 Adam Oak Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Emma Percaro. Emma has persevered and overcome many challenges. She remained strong, worked her hardest, and maintained a 3.3 GPA. She is well-respected by her peers, 
teachers, and administrators. Emma plans to attend Temple University and major in health professions. Congratulations to Emma Percara for winning the 2020 Adam Woke Memorial Scholarship. Lions Club Scholarship Award, Autumn Michaels. Kayla Kinney. Zara Riaz. Now presenting the Wegman Scholarship Award winners. Lara Abadalahad. Tanner Butterbog. Maya Silabridi. Hunter Neath. And now presenting the Allentown West Rotary Club Scholarship, Melina View. Lillian Rogers. And now introducing Mr. John Greth, advisor of Parkland Television and Film. Thank you, I'm John Greth. I have the pleasure of being the advisor of Parkland Television and Film. I am pleased tonight to recognize three students who will be achieving the Parkland TV and Film Scholarship Award. I would like to first recognize Nathaniel Armstrong. When Nathaniel came to the TV studio, he quickly embraced the social media aspect of what we do. He quickly assumed control of our YouTube page, our social media output, and began changing it for the better. Our Twitter followers, our Instagram, and most especially our YouTube page. He spends a lot of time dedicating himself to creating the thumbnails, organizing the material, making sure that the logos and the setup of our page are done in such a way to try to increase views. Then he does so with analytic data and he spends a lot of time doing that, trying to make sure that it's the best experience for those stakeholders in our community who want to see our work. And by the way, he's also an accomplished filmmaker. His heartwarming stories, his ability to take creative aspects and creative leniency, create compelling, wonderful short films that I am sure will encapsulate and make him a very productive person in the years to come. Thank you, Nathaniel. Next, I'd like to recognize Lindsay Renard. Lindsay Renard is the artistic director this year in the Parkland TV studio, and has accomplished every challenge that has been presented to her. This year, her challenge was to change the way that we are perceived online and at an artistic level. Change our public perception with new graphics, media, and especially a new website. She expertly accomplished every one of those. The beautiful, modern, and easy-to-use website was filled with fantastic videos and stories created by our students in the studio. That work was highlighted by Lindsay's photography, and she's a really good photographer, and created bios and a staff page for everyone involved. For the first year, we are excited to have our program evaluated by the Student Television Network and see where we rank in accordance to the nation with our students' production, and all of that is going to be gone through using Lindsay's website. I've never been more confident that the recognition and determination of the students of Parkland TV studio will be recognized through Lindsay's work. We would not be able to do that without all of the effort and ability that she has put into her dedication to the studio this year. Thank you, Lindsay. We would now like to recognize Mary Meyer, the executive producer of Parkland TV and Film this year. Executive producer is entrusted to run the program. All of the things that we have to do, the daily announcements, the organization of those announcements, live broadcasts, recorded broadcasts, stories, organizing who's going to go to what story, organizing what stories will look like, how people are managed in the TV studio, is all organized by Mary. This year, under her guidance, we've had a lot of firsts and a lot of exciting opportunities that we've never experienced before. This year, we were hired to create a wonderful story with an organization out of Cedar Crest College named Dancing with Parkinson's. This group entrusted us, Mary, to help tell the story of those individuals with Parkinson's to come together and dance and attempt to regain some of that range of motion that they may have lost. This year, we found ourselves in the heart of downtown Baltimore with Harlem Wizards basketball star, King Arthur, who visited an elementary school with him and through his agape love, found ourselves embraced by the wonderful children and staff who were excited to have their story told. And now after months of working off air at home, Mary helped organize and establish an off air program 
that allowed us to continue working together as a group at home to create content for the studio and for the school district at large. I don't know if we would be able to accomplish that as successfully as we did without Mary's help. One of the things that I was always nervous about was could we get all of this stuff done? Between Parkless Funniest Home Videos, our off-air show, we were working on week 10 at this point, could we continue to establish and create and produce to the level that we would be happy with. And through Mary's guidance and with the help of everyone else in the TV studio, I'm proud to say that we were able to. And that would not have been accomplished without Mary Meyer being our executive producer and someone who I could trust when she said that she would get it done. She did. Thank you very much, Mary Meyer. And now presenting the Parkland High School School Store Award. Jeff Ray. Vincent Gerbazio. And now introducing Mrs. Amanda Abdelel, advisor of the Trumpet newspaper. This academic award for Parkland student-run newspaper, The Trumpet, is being presented tonight to recognize consistent diligence and effort put forth by this exemplary senior member of the publication. My name is Amanda Abdelal. I'm the advisor of the Trumpet newspaper here at Parkland High School. The Trumpet is published six times annually and for the first time in Parkland School District history has become an online hybrid publication and its production is dependent upon the collective efforts of the staff members who this year were led by co-editor-in-chief Abigail Sawyer. Abby oversaw the entirety of the publication process, from the initial brainstorming of article ideas to the distribution of the finished product. Without her self-directed initiative and leadership, the creation of successful issues would not have been possible. From the moment Abby joined the Trumpet staff, she exhibited independent thinking, leadership skills, and a passion for journalism. Her dedication to ensuring the students, staff, and Parkland community received quality, unbiased information was the utmost concern, and she always made sure the Trumpet newspaper had interesting articles and style. Abigail will be attending North Park University, where she will major in politics and government. We look forward to seeing her excel at the collegiate level, as she has here at Parkland High School. Congratulations, Abby. The Student Council Service Award. Words written by Advisor Julie Wood. Kayla Gorecki and Ashley Davis, co-presidents of the Student Council, have earned this year's Student Council Service Award for going above and beyond their duties as president this year. It has been a pleasure working with both of these young ladies for four years. They have been invaluable in planning four homecomings, four Garter Bowl games, three food drives, and many other activities that the club provides for all students in the school. They are wonderful student leaders, and I, Julie Wood, am sure that they will be very successful as they intend to attend Temple University in the fall. Congratulations. The Travelers Protective Association Altruism Award Andrew Smith. The Exchange Club of Western Lehigh Scholarship. Caitlin Merickle. The Annie B. Fritch Scholarship. Annie Walls. The Sladington Lodge No. 440 F and AM Award. Christopher Dietrich. The Frederick W. Hahn Scholarship. Vicki Chen. And now presenting the Parkland School District Elementary and Middle School Awards. Charles A. Klein Jr. Memorial Scholarship. Citronia Elementary PTO Award. Olivia Wilkinson. The Richard A. Houck Honorary Scholarship Ironton Elementary PTO Award. Kristen Kleinhens. The Lynette C. Smith Honorary Scholarship Ironton Elementary PTO Award, Kyle Schantz. The Jandal Elementary PTO Scholarship Award, Imran Dramsey. The Jandal Elementary PTO Scholarship Award, Autumn Michaels. The Fogelsville Elementary PTO Scholarship Award, Abigail Mirth. The Kernsville Elementary School PTO Scholarship, Ben Dobbs. The 
the Kernsville Elementary School PTO Scholarship, Lauren Petroselli. The Kratzer Elementary School PTO Scholarship, Elena Mecki. Parkway Manor Elementary School PTO Scholarship, Nina Marie Hart. Parkway Manor Elementary School PTO Scholarship, John Robert Oakes. Schnecksville Elementary School PTO Scholarship, Abigail Hill. Schnecksville Elementary School PTO Scholarship, Emily Leiby. The Orfield Middle School PTO Scholarship, Kristen Kleinhens. The Orfield Middle School PTO Scholarship, Amanda Date. The Springhouse Middle School Partnership Scholarship, Imran Duramsi. The Springhouse Middle School Partnership Scholarship, Lillian Smith. And now introducing the Senora Herber Memorial Award, this is Kelly O'Donnell. Senora O'Donnell here. I'm coming at you from Mi Casa. I have the great honor of presenting the Senora Herber Memorial Award to Angelina Racamo. Angelina was a wonderful president of the Spanish Song and Society. She was very active ever since she was a freshman in all the world language events. And she's off to bigger and brighter things in her future. I'm so proud of her, and I am so happy to present her with this $500 scholarship sponsored by the Spanish Honor Society and also dedicated to our beloved colleague, Senora Herber. So, Angelina, felicitaciones y feliz graduación. Adios. And now introducing Mary Redline, who will be presenting the Magister Scott Bowers Award. It's my great pleasure tonight to introduce the winners of this year Magister Scott Bowers Award. Magister Scott Bowers was my predecessor at Parkland High School, where he taught Latin for 30 years. Upon his retirement, he dreamed of moving into his dream villa in Carlisle and being able to spend a lot of time with his grandchildren. Pancreatic cancer, unfortunately, cut his dream short. And it is in his memory today that the Parkland High School Latin Club offers this scholarship to someone who has the enthusiasm for Latin that Mr. Bowers portrayed and also has his love of being in the Latin Club. Tonight, will be the 10th annual Magister Scott Bowers Award. And it is my great honor to present this award to two young ladies who exemplify a love of Latin. Both of them are Latin for students and who have actively participated as officers in the Latin club for the past two years. The first recipient is Sabrina Oates. Sabrina will be attending the University of New Hampshire next year, where she will begin her veterinary studies. And I know her Latin will come in handy. Our second recipient is Guy Young Lee, who next year will be attending Columbia University, where she hopes to study either political science or economics. My thanks to both of you for all your help with Latin Club, for making Latin for a wonderful year, and I wish you all the best. Congratulations, ladies. And now introducing Candace Brobst, who will be presenting the next series of Creative Writing Awards. Good evening. I am Candace Brobst, English and Creative Writing teacher here at the high school. And tonight it is my honor to award Gianna Tooley with the Jason Goldenberg Memorial Award. This award is given in memory of Jason Goldenberg, a Parkland High School graduate of the class of 1989.
Jason passed away that same year, and his friends and family came together to create this award to honor Jason's passion for and dedication to writing. The guidelines for the scholarship charge the committee with the task of finding a writer whose strengths include creative thought and original expression. Gianna's vivid descriptions and imagery stood out among the applicants. Gianna has a powerful voice and distinct style in both her poetry and prose, and has produced works I could easily imagine encountering in all the right literary places. What I most admire about Gianna is her willingness to experiment with different styles and explore various genres in her writing. Without doubt, Gianna will continue to do just that at the University of Delaware, where she will be majoring in English. Congratulations, Gianna, on receiving the Jason Goldenberg Memorial Award. It is my honor to award Christian Zema with the Walter W. Johnson Senior Award. This award is given in memory of Mr. Johnson, a former Parkland High School English teacher. In honoring Mr. Johnson's many contributions, the committee seeks an individual with outstanding ability, as well as commitment to the process of writing. Christian's work ethic is singular. He reads to study the masters and also finds influence in contemporary works as well, from Shakespeare to Swift. Taylor Swift, that is. Christian is also undaunted by the often difficult task of revision. The result is intriguing characters and relatable narrators who capture the essence of the modern human experience. Christian is headed to Penn State University with plans for a dual major in communications and journalism. No matter the field in which he ultimately finds himself, Christian will be writing stories full of heroes and hope. Congratulations, Christian, on receiving the Walter W. Johnson Senior Creative Writing Award. Stanley L. Kramer Chemistry Award. Olivia Wilkinson. And now introducing Calliope Velikas, who will be presenting the Political Science Club Award. Hi. I'm Clyde Bivalikas, advisor to the Parkland Political Science Club. This year, I have the honor of giving two very special people an award, Guy Young Lee and Jacob Roth. I first had the privilege of meeting Guy Young and Jacob in my ninth grade American Studies One class. Since then, I've seen them develop into integral parts of Parkland High School, academically and extracurricularly. They are the backbone of political science. They've done everything from secretary to president, organized our own Model United Nations conferences, overnight field trips to New Jersey and Philadelphia, and hosted movie nights and guest speakers. I don't know what we're going to do without you guys. I wish you the very best in your future endeavors in college. Please let us know how you're doing, and congratulations on this award. Thank you. And now introducing the winner of the Sons of the American Revolution Bronze Good Citizenship Award, Evan Naradko. Senator Pat Brown, Good Citizenship Award. Luke Doberman. Emily Leiby. And now presenting the representative Gary Day Drive Award. Jason Krupe. Mary Meyer. Mrs. Megan Schumann will now be presenting the AATF Outstanding Senior in French Award. Hi, my name is Megan Schumann. I'm presenting the AATF Outstanding Senior in French Award. This year's recipient is Elena Mecki. The AATF Outstanding Senior in French Award is given to a student who has shown exceptional scholarship and devotion to the study of French. And Elena truly embodies these characteristics. She has served as um, president of the French Honor Society. She has taught students in the Elementary World Language Program. She has participated and won awards in the Grand Concours National French Contest and plans to continue studying French in college. Elena, félicitations et bonne chance à l'université. And now presenting the Family and Consumer Sciences Appreciation Awards. For the second Family and Consumer Science Award, the words perseverance, resilience, and kindness 
come to mind when we think about this student. She has been a great student in our courses and is excited to pursue a career as a teacher. But more important than all of that is the character that she exemplifies. We are proud to present Annie Petsalis with our Family and Consumer Science Recognition Award. Congratulations, Annie. We wish you all the best. And now proudly presenting the Parkland Education Association Awards, Abigail Hill. Olivia Nice, Abigail Mirth, National Honor Society Certificate of Merit winner, Nina Hart. And now introducing the National Honor Society Department Awards. Hello, I am Jill Fuller. I would like to present the ASL award to Sophia Gomina. I've known Sophie for about three years now. As a sophomore, she was a quiet student who studied a lot. As a senior, she's not so quiet, but she still studies a lot. She has added a lot of good conversation to our sign for class. She's a kind and caring student who volunteers her time at a karate studio so you do not want to mess with Sophie. However, if you want to know the truth about something, ask Sophie because she is a truthful, trustworthy student. It has been my pleasure, Sophie, to be your teacher for the last three years, and I wish you nothing but the best of luck at RPI, continuing your studies in science that I know you love. Best of luck, Sophie. Take care. Hi, I'm Mrs. Danner, art teacher at Parkland High School. And I would like to take some time to honor the recipient of the National Honor Society Art Award, Delilah Javor. This year, the award was given to a student who has displayed extraordinary talents in the arts and has shown tremendous dedication to every creative area. From photography to computer arts, drawing one and two, portfolio prep, and drawing three, Delilah has demonstrated superb creativity with a work ethic that is beyond commendable. She has been dedicated to the arts and her academics for as long as I know and has never shied away from a challenge. Instead, Delilah seeks out challenges, looking for ways to push the limitations of her creative and an intellectual self. She is a talented, smart, inventive, and driven individual who will put all of her attributes into becoming a great success. It is for these reasons that I am happy to present the NHS Art Award to Delilah Jabor. Congratulations, Delilah. Hello, my name is Jason LaRue and I'm Director of Bands at Parkland High School. The 2020 National Honor Society Award for Band is awarded to Olivia Wilkinson. Olivia is a four-year member of the Parkland Band, having participated as a member of the clarinet section. In addition to following the traditional band studies through our program at Parkland, Olivia studied privately on her own. This initiative paid off well for her as she established herself as a regular participant at the top of her section in numerous PMEA district and region festivals for band and orchestra during her high school career, including two appearances at the Pennsylvania All-State Band. Next year, Olivia will be attending the University of Virginia to pursue a major in engineering and plans to keep playing music as part of her college life. Congratulations, Olivia. The NHS Business Award, Lucas Adam. Hello, I'm Mr. Yoakum, and I'm proud to be the presenter for the National Honor Society Engineering and Technology Award. Uh, this year's winner is Arjun Vanatham. Arjun has been a member of our engineering classes since his freshman year. He has also been a member of the engineering club in which we competed in VEX Robotics uh, for the past three years. Uh, Arjun has always been a dedicated, hardworking, uh, determined student. And the most important feature to me is his maturity. Uh, he's probably the most mature student that I've ever had in my 35 year career. Uh, I'm the advisor for the engineering club and Arjun has done a lot to help direct the students, to guide the students, and to help with, with all of the students in the club. Uh, his team, the, the senior 
uh, robotics team this year was the most awarded team we've ever had. And Arjun was the lead programmer for his team and also the club. Um, he created programs to help scout, uh, to gather information on other teams, and he helped everyone in the club with the programming aspect of the robotics. Uh, his team was ranked 16th in the world in skills competition and was awarded the Excellence Award, the, the highest award in the state of Pennsylvania that can be received for VEX Robotics. Unfortunately, due to the COVID-19 virus, uh, the students were not able to go to Worlds in Kentucky this year where they would have competed and I'm sure have done well. Uh, they did have a virtual Worlds and the senior team, which Arjun was a member, uh, did get to the finals of their division. So congratulations to them. Uh, Arjun will be attending the University of Maryland at College Park next year. And I hope that uh, he continues with the hard work and dedication that I'm sure he will. And from our department, from the engineering and technology department, we wish you all the best of luck, Arjun, and thank you for being part of our family for the past few, four years. Thank you and good luck. Hello, I'm Timothy Schwartz, chair of the English department at Parkland High School. Would Abigail Hill please come up to the stage virtually? The NHS Senior English Award recognizes a student who has made significant academic strides in English during the past four years. The process by which we select the award winner includes a nomination by the senior English teacher that includes a writing sample. Ms. Hill was nominated by 12th grade AP Lit and Composition English teacher, Mrs. Elizabeth Smith. John Dunn, the famous 17th century poet, writes, quote, Take thy rubies, pearls, and diamonds forth, and make thyself a constellation of them all, and by their blazing signify that a great princess falls but doth not die. Be thou a new star that to us pretends ends of much wonder, and be thou those ends. I think this quote truly encapsulates Abigail because her ambition, drive, passion, and appreciation of beauty push her to be the ends to which Dunn suggests, whereas others may falter in the process. Abigail's writing sample that was submitted for this award refers to Coyle, the lowly protagonist from Annie Proulx's novel, The Shipping News. Abigail describes Coyle's plight as unusual and uncomfortable, as is the life he leads. And Abby shares keen insights into the stylistic language in which Proulx describes Coyle. I therefore wish Abigail the utmost success in her future, and I'm sure she will continue her studies at Duquesne University with the fire and passion of a true romantic. On behalf of the awards committee and through it, the Parkland High School English Department, I am privileged and proud to present this year's Senior English NHS English Award to Abigail Hill. Good evening. I'm Donna Robertson, chairperson for the Family and Consumer Science Department. The Family and Consumer Science Department is proud to give this year's academic award to a student who has gone above and beyond in all of her courses with our department. Not only is this student hardworking, but she also has a contagious personality. She comes to class every day with a smile on her face and is kind and genuine to her fellow students and teachers. We also believe she is deserving of this award because even though English is not her primary language, she has been able to maintain an A average in every FCS class. Congratulations goes to Bailey Rojas Rivera for winning the Family and Consumer Science Academic Award. Bailey, we wish you all the good things in your future. Bonjour, je m'appelle Megan Schumann et je remets le prix pour excellence dans l'étude de français à Nina Hart. Hi, Megan Schumann presenting the NHS French Award to Nina Hart. Nina is an overall academically outstanding student. She is intelligent, she is inquisitive, she is driven and responsible. But what really sets Nina apart as a language student is that she is fearless. I remember when I first met her as a sophomore, I could see that she was really special in the way that she was willing to dive right in with the language. She wasn't afraid to make mistakes, but she was always willing to try. And she's truly been a leader for her peers in this way, and I've appreciated all of her efforts in class. Nina, tu mérites ce prix et je suis vraiment enthousiaste pour voir ce que tu feras dans l'avenir. Félicitations. 
Hallo Schüler, Eltern, Lehrer und Freunde. Ich heiße Frau Sebo und ich bin Deutschlehrerin hier am Parkland High School. Ich darf heute die Auszeichnung für das Lernen der deutschen Sprache und Kultur schenken. Ich freue mich, diesen Preis einem wirklich hervorragenden Schüler geben zu können. Und zwar Andrew Lavensleger. Hello, I'm Frau, Mrs. Sebo, and I'm pleased to announce that Andrew Lavensleger is the recipient of this year's German Honor Society Award. I've had the great privilege of teaching Andrew in German two honors, three honors, four honors, and this year in AP. And in those four years, he has shown himself to be a truly outstanding and exceptional student with a true talent for studying the German language. Andrew learns new concepts very quickly and is able to easily incorporate them into his writing and speaking. He consistently uses advanced grammar and vocabulary flawlessly. His writing is much more like college level than high school level. Of all of my students over the years, I believe Andrew has the longest run of 100% ever. His language skills are so strong, I used to try to write quiz and test questions last year that could stump him. I very rarely succeeded. Andrew's precision, his attention to detail, his work ethic, and his focus are second to none. Also, his handwriting is really neat. I'll really miss that next year. I believe that all of these strong qualities will take Andrew very far in life. I know that the future holds great things for him. Andrew, ich wünsche dir viel Erfolg, viel Glück und alles Gute in der Zukunft. Tschüss! Salve te omnes, zum Magistra Redline, and it's my great privilege to present this year's National Honor Society Award in Latin to Guy Young Lee, an AP scholar with a passion for serving others. I have had the privilege of having Guy Young in class for the past three years for Latin two, three, and four. Her ability to learn languages and to learn them well is impressive. Guy Young has earned either a silver or gold medal for the past four years on the National Latin exam, as well as silver and gold medals on the Medusa Mythology exam and the National Latin vocabulary exam. In short, she is the most decorated Latin student in my teaching career at Parkland High School. And in addition to Latin, Guy Young has also excelled in Spanish, where she's earned three gold medals on the national Spanish exam. And in fact, this year, she took advanced Spanish at Lehigh University as a high school scholar. She has also studied Korean, Chinese, and Portuguese. Not only is Guy Young an amazing student, she's also an amazing leader. And she has served as the Latin Club co-president and the president of the Spanish Club for the past two years. She is a member of the National Latin and National Spanish Honor Societies, among many others. Guy Young actively participates in whatever she does be it learning, working on a club project, or volunteering at school or in the community. And she does this all with grace and with a sense of humility. It is my distinct pleasure to present this award to Guy Young Lee. Congratulations, Guy Young, on this award and the many others that I'm sure you're going to receive at this ceremony. I wish you all the best in your bright future ahead at Columbia University. And if this would be the real event, I would reach out and give you a hug. But since I can't, you're going to just have to accept this virtual hug and know that it goes with all my thanks and the great honor it has been for me to have been your teacher. My name is Mr. Galusi, department chair here at Parkland High School. It is my honor to be presenting the NHS Mathematics Award this year for the first time virtually. This year's recipient of the award is currently carrying a 4.6062 GPA. He is the president of the Math Honor Society, and the Pennsylvania Math League, 
and is a National Merit semifinalist. Congratulations to Joshua Yee, and best of luck next year at the University of Michigan. Go Big Blue! Good evening. My name is Brian Mischler. I'm the Director of Orchestral Studies at Brooklyn High School, and it is my distinct honor to present the NHS Orchestra Award, the highest orchestra award of distinction, to the 2019 PMEA All-State Principal Bass Player, Kobe Lindemuth. The NHS Physical Education Award, Andrea Thomas. It is my pleasure to award the 2020 National Honor Society Award for Vocal Music to Abby Hill. Abby served as president of the Concert Choir in Parkland Corral. She is a two-time member of the Pennsylvania All-State Chorus, as well as a member of the District 10 and Region 5 Choruses throughout her high school career. She was also a member of the Symphonic Band, Jazz Band, Trojan Marching Band, and Symphonic Orchestra. Abby served as vice president of the Triam Music Honor Society, and this spring was set to perform as May Tuck in the spring musical production of Tuck Everlasting. Next year, Abby will be headed to Duquesne University to major in music education. Abby, I'm so proud of all that you have accomplished while at Parkland High School, and I wish you the best of luck next year. Congratulations. Hello, I am Mr. Sean Fluso, physics teacher and science department chairperson here at Parkland High School. I am pleased to present this year's science department NHS award to Imran Duramzi. This award was voted on by the Science Department teachers and was based upon both teacher recommendations and the level of rigor and performance in science classes. Imran stood out among the many high achieving and extremely talented science students here at Parkland. I did not have the pleasure of working with Imran as a student. However, he left an outstanding impression with all of the science teachers who had him in class. His AP biology teacher, Mrs. Gannon stated, if you are really lucky, every once in a great while, you experience a student who exceeds all expectations for your class through their depth of understanding of the content to their passion for learning and continued growth. Imran Duramzi is one of these special students who has blessed every teacher who has had the privilege to have had him in class. He continued to wow me by thinking of things in a way I have never seen before in 25 years of teaching. Mrs. Weidenhammer explained, she has never seen a student produce such insightful work that is always completed in the most professional and scholarly manner. This academic excellence was noted by all his previous science teachers, like Mr. Renna and Mrs. Metz in honors in AP chemistry, who each touted him as one of the best students they have ever had. His academic achievements are also matched by his character and dedication. Mrs. Branick described Imran as having a passion for learning like she has never seen in 35 years of teaching. Imran makes you want to show up each day and be the best teacher you can be because every day he gives you the best he has both in and out of class. Imran has gone above and beyond to take advantage of some of our most challenging science courses at Parkland and has thrived. We are sure he will continue to do so at the next level and continue to make Parkland proud. On behalf of the Parkland High School Science Department, Congratulations to this year's Science National Honor Society Award winner, Imran Duramzi. I'm Mrs. Steinbach, Chair of the Social Studies Department. The purpose of a social studies education is to empower students to become informed citizens and leaders. You might say then that Guy Young came to our department already fully cooked. She's been an active member of political science clubs since her freshman year, attending every Model UN and model Congress we participate in, as well as movie nights and guest speakers. She held the position of club vice president last year and club president this year. Not satisfied with the number of history courses that we offer at the high school, she took AP European history on her own. She is a leader in both the local and global level. Locally, Ga Young made monthly presentations to the school board highlighting the events happening in the 11 schools in our district, shadowed local government officials at the Lehigh County Government Center, presented our district's teacher technology conference, and discussed and debated current events in Student Senate and Lehigh County Youth Advisory Council. Globally, 
She helped lead Parkland's chapter of Amnesty International and UNICEF. Her teachers were effusive in their comments about Guy Young as a student, saying, for example, that she helped that she demonstrated an ability to promote genuine, authentic class discussions centered around global concepts, that she brought a true open mind and holistic approach to studying global politics, that her interactive presentations allowed students to benefit from her knowledge to attention and detail, that she took the lead during collaborative activities and developed strong and productive relationships with her peers, that we love reading her writing because she writes like she enjoys it. Congratulations, Ga Young. On behalf of all of your teachers, it has been our pleasure to have you progress through the social studies department. We look forward to your future achievements, and it is my pleasure to present you with the NHS Social Studies Award. Soy Señora O'Donnell y les presento a la ganadora del premio de español, Abigail Faleo. I had the great privilege of having Abigail in my Spanish 4 class, her honors class during her junior year. She is such a dedicated student and possessed an unwavering effort in her learning. Senora Holbrook, her current AP, Advanced Placement Spanish teacher, agrees that Abigail always does everything at 100%. She said not only the required classwork, but also in her willingness to share her ideas and experiences with her classmates. She enriches discussions and boosts the learning of the other students. She presents a unique point of view or mentions things that many have not thought of before. Abigail is an intelligent, authentic, and honest student, and she brings out the best in others during collaboration in this high-level course. Es un honor para presentar este premio a Abigail Faleo. Felicitaciones, Abigail. Gracias. Ciao. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Eric Roberts, and I chair the guidance office at Parkland High School. It is my distinct pleasure tonight to announce that Mackenzie Kirsner is the winner of the National Honor Society Vocational Education Award. Mackenzie has the highest grade point average of any Parkland student at LCPI. She's in the uh, culinary arts lab, specifically commercial baking. I'm blown away by the fact that when she finishes culinary school, Mackenzie wants to really put a lot of effort into the farm to table uh, initiative that has become big in the culinary industry. And what really impresses me most is that with this, she hopes to educate children on the benefits of proper nutrition. So Mackenzie, congratulations. What a noble pursuit and I couldn't be happier for you. Good luck with everything. An evening like tonight can't happen without the efforts of our fine staff and students here at Parkland High School. Very special thanks to Mr. Craig Waters for coordinating tonight's first ever virtual academic awards program with the assistance of guidance counselor Allison McPeak and Mr. Jay Greth. Preparing tonight's presentation was incredibly challenging in this environment and the collaboration between these three individuals is worthy of significant recognition and appreciation. In closing, I'd like to congratulate all of our award winners and their parents for their achievements that these students have attained. We look forward to hearing about your continued success in your undergraduate studies and beyond. On behalf of the Parkland High School Administration, I thank you for tuning in to this evening's program.